And then we'll head back to the item box. There's handgun ammo right there. We'll wait to grab that. Just gonna look around. See if Chris has any cool comments. Old award certificates line the shelf. Most of them are from the city or the army. An assortment of old test tubes and flasks. I got bees following me. Lock mechanism for the door. Use it. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, so you had to go off of what the ball was. Um, but it's it's any combination of three, five, and six. We can check that out later, though. Uh, lab equipment you've never seen before. Could these be blah blah blah? <laughs> I don't know. Could they? Oh god! Oh god! Corpse with a contorted expression of pain on whatever. He's holding something. Will you take the insecticide spray? Yes, I will. So you have to uh, basically get the color of the lamp and see what what number, or what ball that is, the color of the ball. And then those are the, that's the combination. It's like any one of those combinations or whatever. There's a map of the residence. Take it. What's left to explore? Yeah, not a whole lot. There's the boss fight room right there. You got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. You see a giant beehive. Oh, God. Nah, fucking gas that shit. We need to get a key out of there. Okay, go, 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 go. Ah! Ah! Go, 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 go! Woo! Thanks, bud. You look rough. He's all like, oh, I couldn't make it. He's all stung up. That sucks, dude. All right, the residence key. There's a lot of residence keys going on around here. I don't know if I like it or not. I still haven't really figured it out. All right, where's this door lead? Okay, it's not the boss fight, so that's good. All right, there's a red herb here. I do not have a green herb, so I'm not gonna pick that up yet. So there's a red herb and there's handgun ammo. Let's go in here. Another bathroom. Well, it's the residence, so it makes sense. There's like big bedrooms, it looks like. It's full of dirty water. Pull out the plug. Pull it, yo, pull out the plug. Pull out the plug. I feel like there's a lot of those, though, in this game. A lot of plugs you pull. Oh, there's nothing in here. Normally, that's a dagger, I think. The roost is some kind of giant plant just sticking out of the wall. Ew. Yeah, uh, if you're playing it on an easier mode, it's um, you'll get a, a parrying dagger, I believe. I cannot play on an easier mode. I almost I almost can't play on this mode. This mode's almost too easy. Oh, this is where you put the book in. Okay. One white book sandwiched in between them. Take it? Yes. Organic chemistry lab experiment. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the Tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, Vigils. If calculations prove correct, when Vigil is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The Vigil can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They've been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. 
The characteristics of each UMB comical are as follows. So was it red, orange, and green? So 7, 3, and 10. UMB number 7, 3, and 10. Alright, we got the file for that, right? All right, and that clears out this room. So we got to put the red book here, and then that'll open up this, which will allow us access to the boss fight. Let's check out our files for this area. Still got one file left. I don't like that. I, I want that file now. <laughs> now. All right, let's let's see. I don't know if I can even do this puzzle. It's just not three, five, six. All right. Oh, it's three. So it's random. It's either three, five, or six, and it's like different every time. So, but it's any combination of three, five, and six. You can just put in like all the combinations. Just be like, fuck it. You don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottle. So yeah, you have to play as Rebecca for this part. I don't think we can weaken the. Uh, you don't know about much about Mesa. So I think this might be pointless for us. Yep, it is pointless for us. Okay, cool. Well, that means I can grab the red herb and the handgun ammo, and then we can go back to the item box. We'll put a bunch of shit away, and then we'll take on this boss fight, and we'll get the fuck out of here, out of this residency. Lab equipment we've never seen before. These have been used... Oh, okay, I already did that. But what you normally do is you'll play as Rebecca, and you'll have to mix the, the three together. And then you'll have to go to the guard room, which is in the aqua ring. It's that room that I saw with all the tentacles. And then you'll put it in there. And you'll, like, I guess weaken the plan? I don't know. I have no idea. But that clears out. Yeah, everything in the residence except for the... Boss fight room. All right, cool. Sounds good. Maybe this. Maybe I'll get back to. The, I'll probably go back to the mansion. This might be two parts, actually. The residency or the residence might be two parts. It makes sense. It's a long area. Oh my god! <laughs> Thing got me again. I just don't. I always forget about it. I don't know. I'm just not. I'm like doo -doo -doo. not caring at all. Not one bit. All right. Let's go here. So we'll put the magnum ammo in here with the other... Oh, I don't have any magnum ammo yet. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to keep both shotguns because I'm going to use these six shots on the boss. I'm going to put that with that. Go ahead and pull that out so I can combine these two. Then I'm also gonna bring these two first aid sprays. I'm gonna just be healing, like healing up. Oh, I need to bring this blue herb down. There we go. And that way I can get rid of these six shots and the shotgun. Oh shit! I gotta plug in my PC. And then I think that's it. I don't really want to use anything else. We need to use anything else. Ooh, I would like to straighten this bullshit out. Alright, cool. Now those all line up. Alright, nice. Alright. So yeah, I definitely need to plug in my PC really quick. Where's the power cord? There it is. So that is important. If this dies, that sucks. Alright. Cool, it's plugged in. We are locked and loaded. Let's go. Let go. Dun, dun. They know it's epic. Oh, wait, shit. I didn't grab, I didn't grab the book. Fuck. And I, I just, I looked at it and left it in there like an idiot. 
I'm so stupid. You guys are probably like, Brian, what are you doing? You're not grabbing the book. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I'm not grabbing it. What the hell <laughs> was I thinking? All right. Let's try this again. Let's go back. Like I said, two-part episode. I'll get us back to the mansion, basically. We'll get back there. Because I think that'll clear out the rest of the courtyard, too, getting us back to the mansion. I'm looking forward to that. Alright, well, fuck. Um, I guess I'll just use this, because I, I took a little damage from that mine. That way I'm going in with full health. I have two healing items, so I should be alright. Just on the off chance that I die, this isn't going to be my main save, so not going to count, but just on the off chance that I die, I've been playing for 40 minutes here, and I have not saved, so just on the off chance that I might die, I'm going to play this bad boy safe. Not about to do that bullshit. i played enough video games in my lifetime to learn about mistakes like that. Alright, let's go. Hopping over boxes, doing my thing. Alright, are you guys ready? I think I'm ready. I'm ready to kick some ass. Just got a little bit of a puzzle. It's not really difficult. You basically have to rearrange the books in the order to that they make a, a thing. I don't know. That's why I wish I would have brought the book because I would have put it in there and then I could have came back with other shit. The bindings of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books? Yes. Damn it. There we go. Well, it wasn't the quickest way, but it worked. So you can spell out that. Like, show off that. Alright, let's go. Let go. Oh god. That thing just scooped me up. But this douchebag has the helmet key, so we need to take him out. Alright, asshole, let's do this. Ouch. Shrug it off, Chris. So he's exposed when he's open like that. Don't shoot when he's closed. I don't even know if he can really hurt him. Alright, I got one more shot with this shotgun. Don't get near that ledge because he'll just knock you right off it. I'm use his last shot and then switch. I don't know what just happened. Did it get aggressive? I think he got aggressive. Ah, I missed. Fuck. Oh, jeez. Ah. Alright, still yellow. Still yellow. Yes, I still landed the hit. Oh, God. He still knocked me off. Holy crap. Ah. Alright, I'm hurting. 
Yeah, I'm an orange caution. I gotta use one. Oh, I'm already full. Full on ammo. Alright, let's get back up there. He's still shooting from down there, but this puts you a lot closer, I think. Do more damage. Yes! There it is. Whoop! There it is! Whoop! There it is! He dead. Get out of here, you plant. Asshole. Ass plant. That's what they call him. Hey, ass plant. Yeah, give me that achievement. Herbicide! Motherfucker. Defeat plant 42 using Chris. And I did. And I'm gonna pick up this key. It's the helmet key. And I'm gonna reload my shotgun. And I'm gonna look at the residency map. Look at that, we cleared it. Beautiful. I think you can only enter through. Yeah, you can only enter through that way, I guess. I don't know. I don't really see what the problem is or what the difference is. I guess you just get a file or something. Actually, Chris cannot get a file that uh, Jill can. So heads up <gasps> oh, on that. You scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But, Richard, he's gone. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. Alright. Woo! I'm glad I am too. Is she hanging out here? Is this what she meant? I think she goes in here. I'm not sure though. Let me see. I wanna I'm just curious. Yeah, she hangs out in here. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, would you? <laughs> I did just get done fighting a giant plant monster, if you don't mind. Thanks. And then I don't have to use this first aid spray that I have. Sweet. <laughs> She's taking it rough. There's a lot for an 18-year-old. Yeah, she's like 18 years old, by the way. Or 19, something like that now. I don't know, I think 18. Take care, Chris. Take care, Chris. That's all she has to say. Rebecca is resting. Just leave her alone for now. Okay. So yeah, since we got poisoned, we don't get to do that part of the minigame. And that door is now closed off. We have concluded this whole area it looks like um as far as files go there's one file it's barry's photograph because the the fourth index area is the laboratory this fifth one is barry's photograph and you can only get it as jill since he's jill's companion so you cannot get it as chris but we'll get all the other files that you can get as him and like we'll get the last mansion two file when we revisit the mansion. And when we go through his Jill, we will get every single file. So that's when you'll get the achievement. And we'll do it on like survival mode. And it's going to be fun. Haha. -ha. I'm excited. So yeah, let's get back to the mansion. Because I'm going to try and make that one episode. This is already a long episode. So it's definitely going to have to be two. Oh shit. Wesker? What the Chris, fuck are you doing here? You're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. Bullshit! Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. 
It's convenient that you mention that because I just acquired a helmet key. So now I have another key. I think there's four doors if I remember correctly. We're going to unlock all four of them. Go through all four of them and explore all four of them. Oh wait, the plant's dead so you can just run across now. Yeah, fuck you, stupid plant. Idiot. See who won in the end? I did. Dumbass. Wanted to grab me. Grab me like, what, two times I think? Twice. Alright, so we can put this away, this shotgun to rest. Just like the survival knife. We'll move all these down one. Actually, we're gonna have to use the crank. Coming up not super soon. Um, let's put that away. Put the key away too, because we don't need it right now. Don't need the crank. We don't need this. Maybe we do need the crank. Let me see. Courtyard. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, never mind. Alright, I guess we don't need the crank right now. I'll just put it away. I think we're gonna get... Blah, 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 blah. I think we're gonna get a decent amount of items along the way, so... I definitely want to bring my shotgun. So we're gonna have some... We're gonna have a new enemy... Atta approaching... Attacking a new kind of enemy that we've never dealt with before. Called a hunter. Actually, did we have hunters in Resident Evil Zero? I don't remember. Or were there hunter-esque monsters? They were those slimy guys. I don't know. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. It's Brad again. Krista Brad. Can you hear me? Brad. Damn. Damn. Aw, oh, poor Chris. He just can't get a hold of anyone. Well, he found Wesker. They're not really sticking together, though. They're all just kind of doing their own thing, and everyone's really, really, really cool about it. For some reason. Alright. Oh, yeah, I think I already destroyed these dogs. Oh, God. Or did I? Um... go through this one. I gotta preheat the oven real quick. Be right back. <laughs> I totally forgot that I was supposed to do that during like one of those cutscenes like with Wesker. Preheat the oven because I'm gonna make these like, I call them Brian's signature like pizza French bread pizza pockets. I have pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, green peppers, banana peppers, buffalo sauce, and Little Caesar's Zap Packet seasoning. All in these, like, French bread pockets, so they're kind of like sandwiches, but like... It's, I don't know, kind of calzone but not quite. It's gonna be sick, though. It's gonna be delicious. I am excited. I avoided that dog. I got everything? Yep. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here. Fuck this place. This place is a, is a damn disgrace. Fuck this place. Place is a disgrace. Stay, 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 stay. Oh, there's shit. Shotgun ammo anyway. Flash grenade. And a, and a first aid spray. Ooh. And a note, a love note, first aid spray. I wonder if it's from Wesker. I bet it is. Alright, cool. Shotgun. Shotgun shells. 
Use this to protect yourself from that monster in chains that can't be hurt by guns. I also fixed the doorknob to make sure you can get away. Wesker. I love Wesker. So yeah, he fixed that doorknob now, so that's really cool of him. Very, very nice. Alright, make sure you snag this bad boy. The crest fits perfectly in the indentation. Before we head on out. And we're just going to pop into the save room, and that's when we will end the episode. In the next episode, we will explore the rest of the mansion on our revisit. And use the helmet key. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> what spooky thing could this be? Is it... Oh, it's the Haunter! So the trick to these guys is, shoot them, let them stand up, then shoot them again. Let them stand up, shoot them again. Because if you shoot them while they're down, they don't get stunned. But this will definitely end them real quick with a 1, 2, 3 shot, just like that. See? Who's the Hunter now? It's asking the question, who's the Hunter now? Chris Redfield is, that's who. So we got another one around the corner right here. Oh, God. Fucker. Jeez, there's like two of them. Yeah. Bitches! Ooh, they got owned. I got smacked around a little bit, but I'm fine. You see that? It says I'm fine. So don't worry about me. Awesome. Killed it. That's some dirty, dirty, uh, whatever. Dirty playing. I like it, though. Alright, let me get all set up for next episode, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and end it. We can put this in here for now, I suppose. Take the mansion key, the shotgun shells. I'll bring all of them with me. Uh... I have a feeling we'll find some healing items. There we go. And I'll reload. Alright, let's go over the inventory again. So, shotgun, mansion key, we're gonna, you know, put the ink ribbon away. Shotgun shells. Alright. Files. We got five on the Mansion 1. We'll get the last one on this revisit. We cannot get that fifth one, which is Barry's photo. We have to get that one, Jill. But then we'll get the rest for the fourth index. Alright, let's go over the... Let's go over the map now. Alright, so that door next to us is the emblem key. We need the emblem key for that one. The door down there at the bottom is a helmet key, so we'll unlock that one. We'll also get the yellow diamond to, you know, get that item there in that red box on the bottom floor. But that's the only helmet key on the bottom floor of the first floor. Second floor, the helmet key is all the way there in the top left and in the top right. Those are both helmet keys. Now, the one in the kind of middle left, we have to unlock from the other side. And then the fourth helmet key is up here. That's the fourth helmet key door. We'll unlock this early because that leads right to a boss fight. We're not going to try and fight the boss, you know. But it leads directly to it. We're not trying to fuck with that yet. But we want to unlock it so we can get rid of that damn key and then explore the rest of the area without too much trouble. We'll also explore the rest of the basement because of the keys. So anyways, let's go ahead and save. What do I have? One parry dagger. Three parry dagger. Why did I call it a parry dagger? Actually, you know what? Let's go with this. Yeah. Like a bows. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon? Yes. Of course I will. I mean, this would have been two episodes, so seven's cool. Seven works, you know, as the save. It would have been two episodes. Alright, anyways, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and to consider subscribing to the channel for more content. You can also follow me on Twitter for updates. My name is Brian, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.